Hello everyone, welcome back to talk about Transformers episode 3 and the final core class review I'm going to do with my limited pool of core class figures. Today we're going to be taking a look at WFC Kingdom core class Starscream. Uh, I'm going to preface by saying that I do have the Earthrise uh, Voyager class Starscream and while I don't mind that figure as much as some people don't like it, I do prefer this guy over him. So we're going to get in, take a look at his details. Get it to focus. I was hoping it would autofocus. I tried a new feature. It did not work. So there's his head sculpt. What a rather at a spark. Let's see if we can get a closer look at his head sculpt. That's as good as we're going to get. Uh, good thruster detailing on the chest. Cockpits painted in. Blue arms. Painted blue arms, mind you. He's got his null rays. Uh, normally you'd be able to detach them and he could hold them with a 3mm peg, but I actually glued mine on because they like to fall out. Um, a lot of reviewers have said that there's fallout, so it's a pretty common issue for this mold. Got lots of molded detail in the vents. Waste molded in. Not a lot of paint down this far, except for some paint that shouldn't be there. Actually, these legs might actually be painted. They don't look like the same gray as the upper part. Could just be a different sprue. The feet are painted. These blue fins are painted on this leg mine is loose it'll still slot into place but it's loose this one is much more sturdy got the fins on his legs coming up the back not real gappy on the back to be perfectly honest on the inside yeah but the back's not very gappy so that's kind of nice he does have his alt mode cockpit just hanging out back here but it actually sticks out less than the Voyager class. The Voyager class is kind of out on a stick. This one kind of tucks up pretty flush. Have the wings angled back. You don't have to. They can actually go farther back or farther forward. Decepticon logos. Red striping. Lots of molded in line work. And yeah, so there's Starscream in his robot mode. He looks pretty good, I must say. Except for that fin doesn't want to stay. Alright, we'll go ahead and bring in some buddies for comparison. Here we have them with my core class stand-in rat trap. So you can get a sense of scale there. Now if this was actually in scale accurate to the cartoon, rat trap would be way smaller than this. The maximals and predacons are super small compared to the original. G1 Transformers uh, for a deluxe class stand-in. Here he is with deluxe class Warpath and he doesn't bother me as much as he bothers some other people either with his parts forming shoulder pauldron. My permanent Voyager stand-in Cyclonus Obviously, this isn't in scale either, but two jet formers together. And then for the leader class comparison today, I have brought in my Earthrise, Earth Mode, maybe, no, it was Kingdom that he came out in. Kingdom Ultra Magnus, leader class. And compared to this core class, it looks like an old leader class with an old deluxe class if I don't have my hand in for scale. But yeah, the leaders definitely got smaller. It's more of a gimmick thing now than an actual uh, size. A lot of the plastic is folded up back there. Very chunky. I would have liked to have gotten an upgrade kit, but the Earthrise uh, Siege Netflix, the 
the Cybertronian truck version of Ultra Magnus, his upgrade kit looked a lot better than the one for this Kingdom Earth mode. I still want to get the upgrade kit for my Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime, because that would be good, but we'll see about that. Alright, well, I'm not going to remove the weapons this time because they're stuck, but we'll go ahead and get ready to get him transformed. Alrighty, to start off transformation, um, once I get him in focus here, what I like to do is to just fold his wings all the way back, so that way you have room to get his chest panels out. And the chest panels, they just unplug. Um, there are these little tabs in here. They actually hold it more securely in jet mode than robot mode, but they do kind of to tab in and just fold them back, both sides. So there, we've got both sides folded back. And then I move his head down and rotate it 180 degrees so that he's looking backwards. We'll take his cockpit, fold it over, straighten it out, bend it down, and then take his little pauldron pylon things here and we'll fold those down as well because we want to create some clearance here. Fold the legs down and then this whole section containing his body, his torso, is going to swivel around so that way the wings are oriented properly for jet mode. And then there are these little tabs, notches, grooves down here, and they're going to end up sitting underneath this edge. The top of this groove is going to go under the edge of the backpack. Snaps into place, get the cockpit lined up, flip them over. The head is going to go into this opening right here. This tab was helping hold it in place in robot mode. It's going to be flush. Just squeeze. Then for his legs, we're going to tap them together. And there's going to be these two tabs in the back of his knees that are going to clip up behind the backpack again. Squeeze them into place. The legs might come untapped. Uh, there's a little tab holding the wing in place as long as it's not loose and that tab is gonna also hold it in place when we rotate it. Might be easier to do after we get these wings out of the way. So we'll go ahead and do his chest first. On his knees he has these four little notches. There's three tabs on this and there's one tab on this. I like to start with the one with the three tabs and make sure that they're slotted in. Right now they are not get them clipped in there. Now they are clipped in. This side clipped in. Sometimes when you do this it'll fold the wings down for you. We'll go ahead and fold the wings down. There are tabs in his forearms that are going to peg in to slots in his wings. Go ahead rotate his arms and tab them in. There we go. Tap him in. Same thing on the other side. Rotate his arms. Tap it in. Now we should be able to do this easier. Rotate it and then on the underside of the wing that's the robot mode notch, that's the jet mode notch. In the jet mode the loose one holds a little better. Fold down the little back wing flaps. Straighten everything out, make sure everything's nice and flush. And there's Starscream in his little F-15 fighter mode. We'll go ahead and get the rest of my guys transformed and take a look at some size comparisons after we check out. Okie dokie, got everyone else transformed, so let's go ahead and get in some size comparisons. Starscream on the left, straight out. Core class comparison. Here we have Rat Trap again. So, definitely not in scale with a jet. None of these things really are gonna be. 
I would say. But Rat Trap, Deluxe Class, Warpath, Voyager Class, Cyclonus. Standing up real quick. So wide and flat. That's how the jets roll. And finally, our last comparison is gonna be Leader Class Ultra Magnus. So, big old crap. I actually don't mind this figure that much in his truck mode, but unlike the Siege version, there isn't really anything, anything holding this together. He, he doesn't have sideways motion, he's got over the hill motion. Alrighty, go ahead and take a look at the details on Starscream now. So, F-15, uh, the cockpit uh, is painted just like the faux cockpit was, other than where the little hinge strut goes through. He's got lots of molded in details. The Decepticon logos on the wings are the same ones we saw in robot mode. Uh, feet sticking out the back, but it doesn't look that bad, especially from the top and the front. As far as that goes, uh, the wings, the fins here, stay in place better in vehicle mode for me. I guess that uh, notch is just deeper. Underside, he's got the Starscream underside with a little twist, because everything's backwards. Uh, but the arms are under the wings, his chest is backwards, it's just got his legs hanging out. His head's there, which is actually kind of close to where it ends up on Crimson Wings. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get that figure or not. Um, and the only thing I can see that really would work as a flight stand is up here on the nose cone. I'm guessing that's where you'd plug it in to robot mode to have him on a flight stand. So the closest thing to a flight stand I have actually comes with the satellite sound wave from Studio Series. And then the guns, normally you could pop them off and maybe even plug one in there, but mine are glued on. I got tired of them falling off and almost getting lost, so he's just got his Norris permanently attached. Anyway, that about wraps it up for Core Class Starscream. Um, I ended up going in and figuring out how to edit my Rat Trap review, so hopefully I can get that copyright strike off it. It was one of the musics I used. Uh, I don't really think I have any house cleaning other than that to do, so um, if you enjoy my content, make sure to like the video, uh, subscribe. If you have suggestions or feedback or just want to shout out what you liked, go ahead and comment, and I will catch you next time.